guys, how's it going? I'm working on a really fun project today. So I've had this old suitcase for quite a long time. In fact, I bought it from my mother-in-law at her yard sale before we even moved to this house. And I bought it thinking one day I will use it for some kind of planting project and today is the day. So I got some really fun fall harvest miniature garden accessories, including this right here. I think this is the most fun one. It's a little LED tree that has a little battery pack and I got a few of them that I can incorporate into the garden. Um, so I'm gonna be filling the whole suitcase with soil, lining with plastic, of course, but I'll be showing you all those steps. So the whole um, reason I wanna do this is I think for one of my uh, front porches I've got one that's really protected and for fairy gardens and things like that outside you either want to make sure you're doing them very securely so that wind can't mess with them or rain or you want to put them somewhere protected and that's where this one's gonna go as part of my fall kind of display up there um, so the only way I can put this garden together because this lid has to be all the way open uh, I can't see it from behind I'm gonna have to stand up front and I'll be in and out of the camera kind of putting it together so we're gonna speed this whole part up you'll see it all come together and then we'll go over everything thing in the end. Oh my gosh, you guys, I think that this might be my most favorite miniature garden I have ever put together. And it could just be because I want fall here so bad to have cooler temperatures. It's a pretty warm day out today. Um, so looking at this just kind of makes me feel like it's gonna be here soon. Uh, let me turn on all the trees because that's kind of the finishing touch. So I just tucked in the little battery packs around the back. Now I'm gonna turn this middle back one on. It's not functioning quite properly and Aaron and I tried to figure it out, but that's okay. Let's get these two. I think it's super cute and I can't wait to see what it looks like at dusk. I think this is gonna be perfect by one of our entry doors because it's interesting to look at. There's so many different pieces. So I think while I'm explaining all this, I'm just gonna turn that back tree off because it is a little bit distracting and I bought the store out of those little trees. So I don't think that I'll be able to replace it with one that actually works. I'm gonna go back and just double check that I didn't miss one, but even if it's not lit, it's super, super cute. So I started with the suitcase and then I lined it with a heavy black plastic garbage sack. And then I just filled it with regular potting mix. And I just used a Spoma Organic because all the plants I used like regular potting soil. And then I started planting. So this is um, a euphorbia on both sides. They stay really small. They're called, I think, Tiny Tim. Um, and then around the base of them, I planted some Irish moss and then a straw flower that's really pretty. And then as my pumpkin vines, I used Creeping Jenny. So right here and here. And then I've got a few Sempervivums just tucked in. Now the thing about these types of gardens, there is no drainage in this. I mean, I suppose you could create drainage. It would completely ruin the suitcase. Um, so I didn't do that. If you are a beginner gardener, I would not recommend doing something like this without drainage. I'd make sure to do it in a container that's proper for plants. Um, but when I water, I go in with either a syringe, like for these plants right here, I'll water with a syringe so I can direct the water right to the root ball. And I only give them just a little bit because you know there's nowhere for the water to go. Um, but typically I have pretty good luck with that. Um, so after I was done with all the plants, what did I do next? I think I did the little roadway here and I just mixed up a little bit of shapecrete uh, and used some photo paper because it's shiny and slick on one side. I put the photo paper barrier in there in the soil and then I just poured my shape creed in and that sets in about like 30 minutes. It's still like a little soft, like I could probably break it. It'll probably need overnight to cure or 24 hours. Um, but for 
our purpose is here. We don't need it to bear weight or anything. So I can put you know my stuff on it and garden right around it. The farmer's market, I love this little thing. I think that that kind of makes the whole, sets the whole uh, mood, I think, for the garden. And then the little mini straw bales. And then these are cool. So these are actually like putka, is it putka pods? I don't know, I ordered them. We'll put a link down below, but you get this humongous bag of these little tiny dyed pumpkin, uh, but they're made from natural stuff, which is cool. Um, I used some mulch on the top for some areas, and then I went out and I gathered some of our native soil. So if you wanna see what our native soil looks like, that's it right there. I thought it gave more of an authentic field feel to have it be a little bit different. And then in the very end, I had a few pieces of felt left over actually from our paperweight project. So I cut some pieces of it and hot glued them onto a piece of jute twine and made a little bunting banner that I just hot glued to the lid there. And that's it. <laughs> that's it. That was a lot of steps and a lot of pieces. It was a lot of fun. I'm gonna really enjoy this through the season. And of course this is seasonal. I am not expecting to get a lot of time out of this arrangement um, after falls over. So probably after um, Thanksgiving, I'll be taking all of this apart, planting the pots and probably putting them in the greenhouse to winter. And then we'll use the suitcase maybe for another project later. So that's pretty much it for this project today. I was just hoping it would be an inspirational thing for you guys to see come together. I'm excited to use it in my decorating. Um, once pumpkins are out, I will be gathering those and really going to town here at my house. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video and we will see you in the next one. Bye.